hello, 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 and welcome to Bezel's Game Show, where we have put together all the prime cuts, the, the fillet steak of the show, a countdown of all the very best bits from the whole series, for your televisual delight. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, you know what? Thank heavens for Dunk Bed, Dunk Harder. If it wasn't for that game, I'd have been stuck with 800 litres of rotten grease. Yeah, not sure about the kids dunking into it, though, but I'm uh, sure it'll wash off <laughs> eventually. No, idea. Now that is what I call a gun, Do you know what I heard? Apparently, Bezel Brash won't go into the gun. He's got, and I quote, a stunt double for that sort of thing. Ooh, stunt double. Mm. Get him. Well, it was a good job they had Frosty and Ugly Yeti to do the scores for Barney. I mean, walk, talk, and add up. What do they think he is? A television presenter? Now, this one is a 250 zone. Now, the round is double points round anyway, so that's 500. And we've given it a triple as well, which makes it 1,500 points. Get off my zero! So what are we going to do with all that grease now? Oh, uh, don't worry. I've convinced Ugly Yeti. It's a new anti-wrinkle cream. Oil of ugly. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely worth it. That's what I call taking a bib buff. The Tigers want to prove that they're not the scaredy cat. Let's see if they can do it as they go on the pay of the push. Three, two, one, push! Whoa, that's a monster push. Come on! Oh, they're giving that you know some what, I tell you what, it's starting to slow down. This is only going to be the best score. Yeah. You know what, it's not going to go in the book. This is just going to be a really good score. Yeti. Up and down, shake it all around. A whopping 750 points for the Tigers. Well, they won't be horsing around in this round. <sighs> They're going on the pay of the push. Three, two, one, push! Oh, my goodness, oh, that was a monster one. of a push. But then again, you know one. that, don't you? You know exactly what's going on. Because you're a Cars, you're a wine. Come on. Right, you would quite like Come to see your it. friend end up exactly. in the green goo. Which he is about, do you know what? Whoa. 150 points, but of course they're double. Frosty and Ugly Yeti, talk to us. Oh. Frosty and Yeti have just enough hands to hold up a massive 1,500 points for the zebras. Gallop to the top of the leaderboard. We'll find out if they go on the pier and push. Three, two, one, push! That was a stonker. Oh, is it too hard? Zebras take a swim in the gunch. And Frosty and Eddie confirm a score of zero. <laughs> and the bees scored enough to go through to round two. Can the zebras be the main attraction? <laughs> Find out as they go on the pier of the push. Three, two, one, push! That was a terrible joke from Basil, but it hasn't put you off, has it? No, on, okay it's a good here. push, it's a big push. This could end up in the 50s only, could end up in the 75, the way things are going, which would mean that you are going to get dumped. Have you said that, he could go straight past and end up it's good in the 100. It's Is he going to make it into the 100? Is he going to make it? Find that is well and truly in the dunk zone. I'll see you later. <laughs> the zebras galloped into a dunk zone and got sent into the gunch. Point still caught, and 75 doubled is 150 points.
It's toilet humor. Oui, 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 oui. I see. Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? I don't know. Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? Because he wanted to get to the bottom. <laughs> bum, bum! Oh. <laughs> 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 he told jokes in a loo. It was really funny. I can't remember what it was called, though. Um, were it, were it lavatory laughter? Uh, I'm afraid that's incorrect, Colin. <laughs> I'm terribly constipated. Yesterday, I sat in the bathroom for hours. Oh. Are you taking anything for it? Yes, I normally take a book. <laughs> hey, I see. What? Why was the man on the toilet tired? I don't know. Why was the man on the toilet tired? Because he was all pooped out. <laughs> <laughs> Was it called bog jokes? Hey, Basil. Yes? Why did the bottom get a detention? I don't know. Why did the bottom get a detention? He's being too cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you find the toilets on a boat? I don't know. Where would you find the toilets on a boot? A poop deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, avoid that. <laughs> yeah, you better give it time. Give it time. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Restroom giggle. No! I see. Who is in charge of security in the toilet? I don't know. Who's in charge of security in the toilet? The police. <laughs> <laughs> what do farmers wear when their cows have diarrhea? I don't know. What do farmers wear when their cows have diarrhea? Dungarees. In the car, see ha ha. Incorrect, Colin. What did the boy say, say when he fell, fell into, into the, the toilet? toilet. <laughs> oh, I've got it. It was humour in a toilet. Yes, Colin, you are getting warmer. Go on, go on, Colin. Humour toilet. It was called humour toilet. I don't believe it. No, Colin, no, no. Zut alors. No! No! <laughs> you are cordially invited to Snake to Nose with Basil and Barnett. I have never heard such a load of claptrap. Codswallop. You look tired. Oh, really? Don't know why. I slept like a baby. You slept badly then? No. No, I slept well. I slept like a baby. You slept badly then? I slept like something that wakes up five times every hour, crying, wanting a nappy change. That's what you said. Yeah, no, I, no, I don't cry when I need my nappy changing. What do you do then? You know what I really hate? Ooh. Ooh, let me think. Um, um... Parsnips. Hmm. Well, yeah. yeah. I do hate parsnips, it's true, but that's not what I was thinking of. Car parks. Yeah. Yeah, I do hate car parks too, but that's not it. Oh, well, what then? Clichés. Hmm? You know, really old sayings, you know, that people use every day, like, um, yeah. at the end of the day, you've got to get into the swing of things. Well, at the end of the day, you do need to get into the swing of things. Yeah, just like yeah. that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, you might think that you don't like clichés, but you never know until you try, you know. And if you don't succeed, well, try. Try again. Hmm. You trying to wind me up? 
We like what they did with the curtain backdrop. Yes, uh, many us. Black never goes out of fashion. <laughs> they called me Stacy. They called me her. They called me Jane. Well, that's not your name. That's not my name. Not even boys' names? No. Mary. Joe. Lisa. Always the same. That's not my name. It's not your name. None of them are my name. Let me assure you, making a pie isn't easy. You've got to get the flour, get the butter, get the water, make the dough, roll out the dough, get it into the pie dish. And you know, that's just the fiddly bit. Then you need to put the filling in. And what you want is filling, you've got to make a decision. Apple, cherry, gooseberry, rhubarb, or what about chicken or beef? Then you need to cover it in pastry, brush an egg over the top of it and bake it. Is the oven the right temperature? How long are you going to leave it in for? Too long, too little, too hot, too cold. And you say, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's just a phrase. I bought a painting from the charity shop the other day. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Took it to the Antiques Roadshow. Off the telly. Yeah. Yeah. Asked the expert how much he thought it was worth. And what did he say? Well, he had good news and um, bad news. Come on, then, what's the good news? Well, the good news is... it's a genuine fettuccine. A genuine fettuccine? <laughs> ka -ching. I bet it's worth a packet. Hang on. What's the bad news? Well, it turns out fettuccine isn't a famous painter. Hmm. Oh. He's not a famous... He's not a famous painter. He's not. He's a plumber. From Plumstead. Hmm. I have to know what washing powder they use. Oh, I know. Those whites come up a treat, don't I? Hmm. So I'm thinking of opening a hairdresser's. Oh, yeah? Why is that then? So then I could get my hair cut by myself and not pee for it. It's like free haircuts for life, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I like your thinking. Hmm. Need to think of a good name, though. Curl up and die. Bit harsh, mate. What did I say to you then? No, 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 that, no, that's the name for the hairdressers. Curl up and die. It's a name for your hairdresser. Oh, right, right, right. That's the right. name of it. That was a very good name, actually. I get it. Yeah, Curl right. Curl up and die. Right, yeah. <sighs> Sheer madness. It's not the worst idea in the world. People always need haircuts, you know. No, that's, an, that's another name. Sheer well, madness. like Curl up and die is a name, and Sheer madness. The it's, it's an idea for a name that I'm giving you. I'm, I'm giving you names. Right. Utter drivel. And for that reason, and that reason only, I'm out. I, I always preferred butchers to hairdressers. I love sausages. <laughs> yeah, me too. I considered it to be a real blessing to be part of Basil's Games. And rum. <laughs> oh, look at me go. It was all such good, clean, wholesome family entertainment. Beans, beans are good for the heart. The more you eat, the more you fight. Party, isn't it? It could be a very quick time for the bees. Oh, that's fast. That's very fast. Wow, look at him go. Halfway there, and the bees are blowing up a storm. The tide is still at the gorilla bogies, and the bees are catching up. Both teams are swilling around in the snot. Who will find their second key first? Or maybe oh, still a close race. Go on, Jane, as fast as you can, mate. Plenty of icing on there. Very good. Nice, Bossy, with you there. 
Have you heard of the Sugar Plum Fairy? I I have. She wasn't available, so we got a sister, the Sugar Bum Fairy. <laughs> you said bum. And of course, our own tea festival was featured. Such bliss. See the bees are flying as the lead now. Oh, that teal over the carpet. Oh, the caretakers won't be happy about that. But the thing I really liked about the games was the innovative use of food. I mean, I've had cakes used as bowling balls, but these games took things to a whole new level. Yeah. Oh, it's been a soy sauce by the bees. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I think Lewis must be champion. Great pressure where he comes from. Look at him go. Come on, Tigers, you've got to be faster than this. Plenty of cheese and frisbee. Yeah, but towards your teammate would be helpful. Like I said before, once the pizzas have been frisbeed over there, they have to be stuck onto that big stack, which will wobble, so they've got to be careful how they stack it. Lovely shot then. Come on, Tigers, you're a bit wide of the mark, you know. I was wondering if I could have a skinny, fat mocha chocker frappuccino with extra cream to go. <gasps> No? I suppose I'll just have more tea, Vicar. Ah, good morning, ladies and jelly spoons. Bonjour, no. Thank you, Bob. Welcome to Bezel Brush's infamous Around the World in 30 Seconds Tour. <laughs> Barney, what? what's a vampire's favourite fruit? A nectarine. Oh. Yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, lesser-known sporting activities like badminton don't really get the TV coverage they deserve. Absolutely. In my opinion, they should be on the Sport Channel 24-7. Yes, we could watch them all night. <laughs> In between those two books, you might get that. Oh! Oh, one point. Beautiful, well done. A bet in the red zone for the bees is one point, taking their score to six. Well done. Rick. That's all that's enough of your rubbish jokes. Of course, it's very important the trays stay nice and level. Beautiful, one point each. Look at him leg it back, look at him wow. go! Oh, oh, crack it. <laughs> If I had to mark the dinner ladies uh, for the service, um, you, I'd mark them a you, and, uh, and that's being generous. Oh, that's our chickens. Yeah, we keep chickens in the kitchen now. You can't keep animals in the kitchen, it's unhygienic. <laughs> I know, it's filthy in there, but the chickens don't seem to mind. Mm, at least it means your food might be fresh for once. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, the, uh, the moose incident, yeah. Uh, people ask if I can laugh about that now. And, and the answer is no. Yes, we've got one moose left in the fridge. Oh, we'll have that then, please. <laughs> it's the big one. Ah, really peckish. Please, just give me the moose. OK, customer's always right. Oh. Okay. Come on. Ooh. Right. <laughs> well, that's it. Well, Kate, ready? Right. Ah, it's bigger than you've been. Uh... Even watching tennis at Wimbledon brings me out in a cold sweat. <laughs> Service. Good set. Thank you. Right, Lady Mavi. Juice. I used, to, I used to love fish, but now I have nightmares. About six foot halibut. It's not right, is it? I, I'll just have the, uh, the battered fish, please. All right. You asked for it. Wasted. 
Ready? I'll bring in a pack lunch now. So it's a lot safer. Every week, the wee fox brought in rubbish. <laughs> I'm Basil Brush, and I'm looking for £60 million. Pounds, and I'm looking for £6 million. Pounds, and 37 pence. And I'm looking for... 27 million pounds <laughs> and ninepence. For these lightweight bags are just perfect for transporting honey. Juicy bones can be dispensed at any time of day or night at the touch of a button. If you sprinkle it on the ground, <laughs> you see, you can grow the most enormous but there was always one Muppet who would stump up the cash. The cat has come in with a surprising late offer for the mice spy. Oh, fantastic! Brilliant news! Oh, that's great news! <laughs> Surprisingly, Frosty has invested in the snowball-making machine. Brilliant news! The bee has come in with a surprising late offer for the honey bag belt. Oh, brilliant news! Thank you so very much! That's brilliant! <laughs> I only did it for the catering. That was top-notch. <laughs> mm, banana. Hmm, trifle. Hmm, <laughs> eclair. <laughs> the questions were really hard. I'm not Einstein. Correct, Colin. You actually got something. Right. Oh, Nick has not. Colin, just one more fruit to win. OK, um... Lamb hot pot! I don't believe it! No! Lamb hot pot is a meat-based casserole. <laughs> Colin, it's not a fruit. <gasps> just one more dinosaur to win all the prizes. OK. Is it the white-tailed antelope ground squirrel? The white-tailed antelope ground squirrel yeah. is a species of ground squirrel found in an arid region of southern western United States and northern Mexico. Colin, it's not a dinosaur. Oh, Count down from ten to one. <laughs> Now, in your own time, Colin, good luck. Thank you. Um, ten. <laughs> nine. Good. Eight. Seven. <laughs> uh, six. Now, Colin, take your time. Oh, um, uh, oh, uh, uh, five. Well done. Yeah. Uh, Four. Pretty good. Um, three. Uh -huh. Two. Oh, Colin, you are almost there. All those prizes could be yours. Just one more number. Seventy-three. It... Oh no, <laughs> Colin! I don't believe it. That's wrong, Colin. Oh, oh because. No, bad luck, Colin. You were so close to winning all the prizes. Say goodbye, Colin. Goodbye, Colin. Is it 112? What? Well, every time Basil and Barney came round my turf, they'd bring some little nippers. Messing about in my maze. Well, I tell you, I don't like that. I don't take kindly to it. No, sir, not one bit. So I'd chase them with my net, and then I'd say, Get out! Get out! Don't make me stamp and shout! Oh! Who's the winner? Me. Ugly Yeti is on form today. She's flying through the maze. You need to get those blue eggs into the escape hatch, otherwise she's going to catch you. Oh! If you see me, you'd best start to flee! Oh, <laughs> you! Oh. So when 
those kids were good. No messing about. Literally straight in, really fast, and got the job done. Okay, quick, put them in, put them in, put them in, quick, quick. quick. Yeah. Well, it goes in, the escape hatch will open. They will leave with three prizes and the star prize. Are they going to do it? Is he actually going to catch them? Absolutely brilliant. Ah, oh, well, those kids, you know, I mean, they were the lucky ones. But you can't blame me for trying to get them out of my maze, you know. I mean, some of them were so rude. You, you foul, evil, evil little, little monster. monster. You may look soft and, and snuggly, but underneath you're very ugly. Oh. <laughs> you cannot go into Yeti's maze thinking it's going to be a walkover. Something can take you over in that maze. It can make you do crazy things. Oh, why have they left that in? It's not a red one, that's an orange. That's a prize they've missed out on there. Oh no, let's go! Oh, no. The eggs have dropped out! It's a orange egg, beautiful first prize. Oh no, it's dropped out! Here she comes. Guys, come on, you've got to talk to each other. That's it. These are looking confused here, girls. You need to make a decision. They're heading towards Oblietti. I'm not too sure if they've got the idea of the game or not. Oh, game over! What were they thinking? A huge hairball hot on their heels and they decide to go towards it. <laughs> Mad. I can only imagine what must have been going through their heads when Ugly Yeti started bowling towards them. Lewis turn! Lewis Don't scream! Quick. Don't put him off! He's coming! Quick. She's coming! Oh, Although, yeah, she, she does look like a heat. Oh. Quick, grab it! What are you doing? Quicker! Oh, no! Oh, it's game over. Good times. Good times. But a little word of advice for anyone who's planning to come after me in my maze. Ho oh, ho, you don't come after me. I come after you. Oh yes, and I'm gonna go real quick. And the louder you scream, the faster I'm gonna chase you. But it's all in the name of fun. Don't have nightmares. Well folks, sadly, that's the end of the show. But I'm pleased to say no Yetis were harmed in the making of the programme. Yay! Although, in case you were wondering, yes, they really are that ugly. <laughs> so, until next time, boom boom, folks! <laughs>